Hello and Shigeo guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2 and in today's video guys we are here with some Season of the Deep content. Now I know I'm a bit late with this because <laughs> I got some server errors on freaking launch but we are here of course with some brand new Season of the Deep freaking gear and it's going to be from the new raids Ghosts of the Deep and with it brings the brand new freaking exotic boys it's going to be called the Navigator. So once you navigate your way through that dungeon... <laughs> My god, the puns are so ass. But once you navigate yourself through the dungeon, you can pick up this freaking beauty of an exotic. I mean, oh my god, this thing looks so sick. Honestly, it gives me railgun vibes. And honestly, it has some really cool applications compared to other exotics you used to always get. So basically, what you're mainly looking at, of course, is going to be the intrinsic trait. So protective weave, firing this weapon at an ally grants woven mail to both the user and the target. But this protective weave should be a really, really dope position. And then it's going to have the trait as well, weft cutter. Dealing sustained damage severs the target. So obviously on a strong weapon with that 1000 RPM, getting severed is going to be really dope. And obviously with, of course, these on mods and everything. So you can see strong soldiers, strong weapons gain unraveling rounds when you gain woven mail. Super easy, of course, with this exotic to get it going. So obviously in PvE, it's going to be really dope. I don't know what the catalyst is. Of course, you got to do the freaking heavy or the freaking hard mode of the dungeon. Haven't got that far, boys. I barely even got this. this is my first try again. I did one run and I got this. But the Navigator itself, we're going to try it in some PvP and PvE. So without further ado, let's go in some PvP with the Navigator Trace Rifle. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the Altar Flame, of course, with our Navigator. And this, honestly, it, sh it should be pretty sweet. Now, we're just going to tap. Okay, yo, buddy, buddy. Come here. <laughs> oh, wait. Do I only get it? But Okay, there's the Woven Mail. So you'll see. We gave him Woven Mail and we got it as well. It actually takes a good few bullets. I didn't think it would take that much. I got plus five. But this is what it's going to be like in terms of damage and everything. As I said, it's a Trace Rifle, so... Not that it's going to be bad, but it's definitely not going to be anything I'd be like, oh my god, you have to use this. Trace rifles in general PvP, they're not great, but one thing you should notice... Oh my god, please help me, buddy. <laughs> one thing you should have noticed, though, is that this weapon... Oh my god, it's a strong weapon, but I am on a solar soap class, so you can get this woven mail, even on solar and everything, which honestly is pretty sick. It means that the builds... You can use this with any build. You don't have to be on a freaking strong soap class to actually get this woven mail going. But you can see, it takes a couple of shots, so you can see, you know... Just freaking top your buddy up, top him up, and you can just absolutely blast him when you get your weapon mail going. So you have extra damage now, buddy. Oh my god, I'm so dead. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, when it comes to Trace Rifles PvP, they're definitely not going to be meta anytime soon. Oh my god, i leave you alone. <laughs> but I will say that it does look pretty dope. And if you do hit your headshots with these things, it will actually do some work. But yeah, PvP, not exactly going to be your god's gift. Oh, right, buddy, get your weapon mail going. Get your weapon Get it quickly. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually kind of annoying that there's no, like, I don't know, marker so I can actually figure out if I'm actually going to proc it or not. But yeah, you can actually see it's going to be pretty helpful, especially if you got a guy who's like, can I actually... Okay, I gave him a meal to myself. I don't know if I actually gave it to him because he has the overshield. Maybe he can't freaking pair it. Is that a thing? Oh, I get this guy, though, and he's one-shot. Yeah, this is what I mean, Trace Rifles. Uh, I know they got a buff and everything, and we are absolutely stomping these. What the hell is this? Uh, hello, guys? Are we just that freaking goaded at PvP? But yeah, as far as it comes to in terms of giving my teammates more uh, freaking mobile mail and everything, you can see it's not bad. But yeah, it's a freaking trace rifle, so I will definitely say it's kind of struggle regardless. We got the kill. Alrighty, so we are gonna do an elimination game, obviously, because that last game was quicker than me and Bad Boys, but also because I want to showcase it more in a team-based environment, which as I said will be a lot better. So Looker is gonna peek. But buddy, oh my peek at Looker. Peek me, please. Oh, buddy, there you get your woven mail going. There we go. <laughs> I actually probably saved in there. I'm going to take that as a freaking saved. I got blasted for it, though. But yeah, using the exotic perk, obviously, it just it's not going to really be viable PvP unless you got a squad going. And don't get me wrong, it'll be really, really dope. But you can get Woven Mail going a lot simpler with, like, Titans and everything if you really want to spec into it. This one's just really nice because I can be on a Solar Warlock or whatever freaking subclass I want. And it will be effective somewhat. You can see, as a weapon goes, Trace Rifles actually can do some work. Like, you can see... If you're hitting your headshots, it can't... Oh, my God, buddy. <laughs> but, yeah, if you're hitting your headshots, it can actually wreck out pretty well. All right, boys, we're going to go demon mode now. I am not respecting these at all. I'm going to just hit my shots, get my weaves going, get my freaking um, strand going, and they are over the other side. Cool. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to get all my stuff going. And Oh, they're going for heavy, boys. Do not let them conquer the heavy. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what the... Yo, look, go for heavy, go for everybody. Oh, I saved his ass. I saved his ass. I'm telling you right now, that was all me. He's oh, dead without my ass here, guys, okay? And, oh my god, guys. Are they gonna go for heavy or are they gonna go for the... Guys, what is... This? this is elimination. What are they doing? You know what? Screw this guy. Oh, the course is two. What are you doing, guys? This is not the objective of this freaking game mode. But as I said, you can see it actually kind of goes in a little bit. I just whiffed there and I ran out of bullets. <laughs> I don't know what the enemy are doing. They're going for freaking kills. But yeah, I am still showcasing a little bit more of what it's like in PvP. As I said, if you're going to use a trace rifle, though, PvP, 
You're most likely gonna go with one that's a little bit, I'd say, juicier when you get kills or even like just using. Like, obviously, oh, buddy. All right, he's gonna have the freaking. Oh, he's gonna be freaking stranded. Oh my god, I can't aim. Oh my god, buddy. Oh, no, no. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, he chased me. He chased me. What is going on? Oh my god, I can't believe he did that. Realistically, it's not gonna do as much work for you. Like you can see, it can wreck out. I'm not lying, but one thing you're gonna really struggle with is obviously. And what's it called? Your ammo economy. And then you have to hit all your headshots. If you don't hit a headshot with this thing, it's like a wet paper towel. A wet noodle. Alrighty, so we're going to do the PvE side of things, of course, with our navigator. And this should be able to navigate us to a freaking, I don't know, end boss. I don't know. How can you navigate a win in PvE, really? Is there any winning when you play PvE? But yeah, the navigator itself in PvE, it should be a lot easier. Obviously, proc stuff and everything. So obviously, in PvE as well, getting Sever going is going to be a lot nicer. And also... I mean, you can spam the weapon out. Like, you can see, it's a good RPM and everything. Bullets are for days. And getting the woven mail, honestly, is really dope. But yeah, definitely as, like, I know, a solo player, it's not going to be as useful. But obviously, when you have teammates going in and everything, like, this guy's getting absolutely wrecked. I can give him woven mail there. And it seems like you can't keep on constantly refresh. So you can see, even though you had it, I can refresh the timer and stuff. So it is going to be nice if you have some guy weak. You can just, like, pepper him and get him woven mail. Now, obviously, woven mail isn't exactly, like, invincibility. It just gives you, like, a massive reduction in damage, which could be dope. I think we get stuff, though, where it's, like, if you have woven mail equipped, you, like, get increased damage weapons or whatever. That might be really nice as well, but I think at the moment, like, this guy's, like, really weak. I get woven mail. Survives a little bit. I think at the moment, though, obviously, it's gonna do work. It's just, um, it's just gonna be very ammo costly. But, yeah, in situations like this is where you're probably gonna find the most thing. I wonder if I can give, like, everyone, like, woven mail in one shot. I think I can, but it's, like, really hard to know when they have woven mail or not. Like, that guy has it. Does he have it? He does have it. It's just so hard to tell. I wonder if you can actually give everybody woven mail within like one shot or whatever. But yeah, as I said, it's just a really cool exotic. It has a really su uh, sweet premise. It, I wish it did a little bit more in terms of uh, maybe giving people like a damage boost, but then it might be a bit OP or whatever. But as far as the weapon goes itself, it actually is just really, really dope. I would definitely say that <laughs> it's worth getting. I know people are going to hit me with it, but I'm trying to freaking to get it just sweet because I'm pretty sure you have one chance a week of getting it. And I got it on my first try. I know, rip. But yeah, I definitely will say if you want a fun exotic to kind of go in with and want something that would help out maybe in certain situations. I know we have Well of Radiance and everything, but maybe just in certain, like maybe the end boss, whatever. It could be a really, really dope addition. And as I said, as far as the weapon goes as well, like it can actually do some decent work because it has that unraveling kind of built in. It can actually do some freaking really, really nice work. And if you have all the tangos going too, you can't actually just destroy people with this thing. It's actually not a bad uh, trace rifle by itself. You can see all the unravel rounds just going in. <laughs> You can actually do some insane freaking damage in freaking PvE. I actually do really like it for that. I would actually say as well, it seems like you can actually get woven mail off killing enemies. I didn't realize you could do that. Maybe enemies too count as targets? Maybe? Because I'm getting woven mail sometimes whenever I kill a bunch of things. I don't know what freaking mods I have on or not. But yeah, as I said, it's obviously just really nice. And oh my god, can we give... Oh my god, we can give a guy in a super woven mail? Oh my god, okay, that's actually pretty cracked. Imagine PvP and trolls. Some storm trans come. Okay, no one uses storm trans, but some freaking like I don't know hammer titan comes actually and gets woven mail on top of that. Oh my god, you would just be a freaking tank. This is gonna go and do absolute work, but I think I can actually get. Wait, can I get the freaking woven mail by myself? I need to get a target that I can actually shoot. Because I think I can proc it by myself. Uh, here is a good target to shoot, and you can get. Yeah, you can actually get it. It just takes a lot of freaking bullets. I did not realize. Okay, so when you're shooting teammates, it only takes about five. But when you're shooting freaking enemies, if you waste like half your mag, you can't give yourself woven mail. So that's actually not bad for the solo side. All right, I'm actually going to switch to my solo side because I want to see if I can get the woven mail going on a solo over just hitting enemies. Okay, no teammates hitting. Okay, we're not hitting teammates here. Where are the enemies at? I'm going to do boss. Oh, wait, that's the freaking Carl. It's not a boss. <laughs> we'll hit a bunch of enemies over here, though. See if I can get woven mail going because that will definitely tell me that you can, yeah, you can actually get a proc by itself. It just takes a good few bullets against enemies, but that's actually pretty sweet for the solo side. This could be a good way of surviving. Now, I wouldn't. Uh, definitely, I wouldn't say, yeah, do use this because, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not going to be anything special when it comes to freaking, like, I mean, wasting half your ammo and everything. And as a solo player, there's probably better exotics to use. But, I mean, getting woven mail just for freaking shooting, actually not a bad thing. I wouldn't, I, it, legit, it will depend on the catalyst if this is going to be usable solo. In team play, I can already see it being used. Solo play, not so much right now. But as I said, as far as it goes, I actually can't do some decent work. I actually do love this freaking thing. It can absolutely blast. A few enemies over here, though. You weak. What are you? Don't worry. We give you woven mail. Look at that. We give this guy woven mail, too. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so much fun just to be a support player. Well, that is it for me and the Navigator Trace Rifle. As I said, it actually is a really dope Trace Rifle. I will admit, though, that um, 
it takes a little while for the solo kind of aspect for it to come out the woven mail obviously they probably didn't want to give it on first shots because it would have been kind of broken but overall this thing is dope and as i said it looks hella beautiful i mean it's a freaking rail gun a strace rifle also that strand as well which is super super unique but when it comes to it in both pvp pve it's actually really really fun to use i think pve is definitely where it's going to be the, the go-to because obviously you can have what's it called give teammates woven mail it takes like five, 10 bullets, obviously, for teammates and then like half a mag for an enemy to give you over mail and everything. But I will say overall, the Navigator, super, super cool, exotic, super good addition to the game. Where it's going to be effective, I don't know because we have so much damage resist already in the game. And there's a ton of ways of giving woven mail anyway. Like, um, I think can Titans like throw tangles at people to give woven mail. How useful this is going to be overall. And as I said, so much damage resist already in the game. It's not going to be that special. But if well ever gets nerfed, resilience ever changes and stuff, this might be the thing to make you survive. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.